velocity of that ladybug was. Okay, so right now we are measuring the um, certain, certain distance intervals within our entire distance. And now we're, what we're going to do with these distances is we're going to find the velocity at each point. So Chase is going to call out every other knob. Five centimeters. First knob is 50. <laughs> and then the other knob is uh, 5 centimeters. We'll start by writing out our known variables. We know the different heights at which velocity checkpoints were measured in meters, so we'll write those out first. By using the formula d equals half gt squared, we can find the exact second that the ladybug passed that distance checkpoint. We plug the distance in for d, plug 9.8 in for g, gravity, and solve for t, time. Now that we know the time, we can determine the velocity at each point. We used the formula v equals g times t. We inserted 9.8 in for g and inserted the specific times we found at each checkpoint in order to solve for the velocity. As you continue plugging the variables into the equations, you can find all of the times it took for the ladybug to fall and the speed at which the ladybug fell. You could easily apply this to everyday life if you were ever curious.